I don't want to set the world on fire. Hi guys. This is a quick video about the problems with the Nexus Mod Manager. It would seem the latest version of the Nexus Mod Manager is having a lot of trouble with scripted installers of quite a lot of very popular mods. Um, and I am 99.9% .9 sure this will get fixed. I, I do hope so. Um, however, there is a workaround um, if you're willing to do uh, a few minutes of uh, manual labor. Uh, so I'm going to show you that and I'm going to use Mart's Mutant Mod to show you that because it has a scripted installer. Now if you use the Nexus Mod Manager's download option um, and download the mod directly into Nexus Mod Manager, um, what you'll be finding at the moment, this is on Nexus Mod Manager 0.18.7, um, is when you click the activate button it starts progressing and preparing the mod um, and then it will throw an annoying little error. As you can see, could not compile script errors were found um, and basically it'll give you some details down here. And um, it's simply a matter of this script not being compatible with the latest version of Nexus Mod Manager and probably the latest version of the Fallout Mod Manager as well. Um, it's uh, using a base script that, war that is very old. Um, so, but I'm going to show you how to basically fix that. Oh, there you go. Mod not activated. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Mart's Mutant Mod page and go to the File section. And instead of Download with Manager, I'm going to click Download Manually. Download the file manually. And basically it will download an archive. In this case it's a 7Z archive, but it might be, uh, it might be a RAR archive, it might even be a ZIP archive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a program such as WinRAR or 7Zip and I'm going to extract the files and I'm going to extract them here to Mart's Mutant Mod, etc. And what you'll see is a folder appear here and it will start extracting these files into this folder and it will take a little time with some mods. Mart's is a big mod so it may take some time. And once it's actually finished you will actually be able to delete the downloaded archive. Um, you don't need it anymore. So I can just delete that. And now I have Mart's Mutant Mod folder. And I'm going to double click in there and open it up. Inside there, there is a folder called FOMOD. Go into there. Now what you're looking for here is the script.cs. Um, and basically you're going to have to edit this. Now you can edit it with um, either Notepad++ if you've got that, if you prefer it, or with Notepad. I'm going to use Notepad just to make sure everyone can follow this. Now the culprit is this, the base script. Um, the original Fallout 3 uh, mods used this base script. Um, now what you can do is change this to Fallout New Vegas base script. All one word, no, no spaces or anything. As you can see, Fallout New Vegas base script. Don't worry, I know this is Fallout 3 mod, it doesn't matter. Um, for all I know, you actually might be able to call this Fallout 3 base script, but I know for an absolute fact that Fallout New Vegas base script works. Change that, save it, and then close it. That has now fixed the script. That's as easy as it is. And yeah, I can close this. I now go back to this folder and I right click it and I then either, you can either add to archive using WinRAR like that or 7-zip if you use 7-zip or if you want, you can even make a zip file of it. At this point, it actually doesn't matter what you do to it. I'm going to add to Mart's Mutant Mod and make it a RAR file just for simplicity. Um, if you don't have WinRAR or 7-zip, I will link down below. You are going to need to know how to use those, but again, if you just watch what I did, it's pretty simple. Um, and they are very useful programs to actually have. This is obviously going to take quite some time uh, because it is building the file and then compressing it so it doesn't take that much room on your drive. So once it's finished, you've got an archive and you 
basically, I'm now going to use that to make the fold mod. You'll notice I have, in fact, deleted the folder. Don't need that anymore. So go back to Nexus Mod Manager and go to Add Mod from File. You see I've deleted the old Marts mod because um, I don't need it and it will be confusing because it'll have the same name. Go to Add Mod from File. Select the RAR archive you just made. Um, it will take a little time to make. Um, and there it is. And then just activate it. And there you go. Fixed. Now, be aware that this mod you just created will continue to work even once Nexus Mod Manager fixes the original problem. So you don't actually need to change this back again once they fix Nexus Mod Manager. I, I guarantee they're not going to stop it working for the, the Fallout New Vegas base script, or at least they would cause chaos if they did. Um, but you should know that this foam mod, if you're the sort of person who knows how to take foam mods and move them over to your old Fallout Mod Manager, um, they will not work, I do not think. So don't do that. I can't imagine why you'd be doing that if you're using Nexus Mod Manager. You are probably not using Fallout Mod Manager as well. But I just thought I would make you aware of that. But that's it. It's now fixed. It will install as normal. And you can do this with all of the mods that have this problem. Um, so um, Fallout Wanderers Edition, etc. Uni uh, the Unified HUD, so on and so on. Anything that's crashing at the moment, you should be able to fix that way. Obviously, if you're watching this video and the Nexus Mod Manager is no longer 0.18.7 and is updated, you should check the mod just in case it's already working anyway, because hopefully they will fix it soon. Anyway, I hope this workaround helped.